Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss some of the causes of global warming. Um, so in the 20th century, the Earth has warmed by approximately 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this really isn't up for debate. It's a fact that is backed up by a lot of scientific data. Um, in general, uh, the Earth is kept warm by something called the greenhouse effect. Um, there are certain gases in our atmosphere that trap in um, heat that's been reflected and, and bounced, radiated off the Earth, it keeps heat in and keeps our planet approximately 33 degrees Celsius warmer than what it otherwise would be without that atmosphere and without the greenhouse effect. Um, so there is a natural greenhouse effect um, which keeps our planet inhabitable. Um, what we're seeing now, though, is that uh, the greenhouse effect is being increased and exacerbated by um, both natural and mostly human actions. So we'll take a look at some of the causes. First of all, there are a couple natural um, uh, causes for global warming. Um, the changes in solar radiation, so the output of the sun, does change in cycles. Um, it changes in about 11-year cycles. Um, this has contributed to some of the warming in the past, um, but it doesn't match up with the current trends that are seen. So it's not really an explanation for the current global warming. Second, uh, volcanic dust, um, so particles that are emitted when volcanoes erupt, uh, tend to put sulfates and things in the air, which actually make uh, short-term cooling patterns. Um, we see this and we know when volcanoes erupt, so we can often associate them with short-term cooling patterns. Um, Finally, as I said before, there are natural greenhouse gases, and those contribute to the greenhouse effect, which keeps our planet inhabitable. Now, there's also uh, several human causes or anthropogenic causes of the current global warming, and this is really the reason for all of the, uh, the hype and all of the media coverage. Um, there are two main causes that contribute to global warming. First, you have increases in greenhouse, gas greenhouse gases. Um, these are usually uh, uh, put in the air by burning fossil fuels. So when you burn um, things that were buried in the earth, you release a, a lot of methane, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxides, sulfur, uh, sulfur oxides, um, and things like that. Um, those are greenhouse gases. We know that they trap heat in. Um, in addition, land use changes, so deforestation, urbanization, these, one, affect how much greenhouse gases are able to be captured, and two, they also um, create more pockets of heat. So if you go to a major city like New York City, it's going to be hotter there. It's the heat island effect, and it's because of all the asphalt and pavement and the lack of vegetation. It's warmer there. Um, no one's going to argue that one. Um, in addition, humans also put other pollutants in the air. Some of those have a cooling effect, such as sulfates. But in general, uh, the pollution from humans has contributed to global warming. So this has been a brief discussion of the causes of global warming. Um, there's very little scientific doubt that it is being human-caused at this point, and I encourage you to find out more and take some action.